Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to the channel McNally Money, home of all things stock, investment, and personal finance related. Now for today's video, I've got a super exciting one for you. We're going to be providing an update on one of my favorite stocks right now, none other than HUD8 Mining. They're involved in the cryptocurrency, specifically Bitcoin mining space. In today's video, we're going to be giving updates on three pieces of recent news that have come out in the last couple of weeks. I'm also going to be discussing why I like to hold miners such as HUD8 as opposed to Bitcoin ETFs or the actual underlying cryptocurrency itself. Now before we get into it today you guys, please take a second, hit the like button, it's a huge help to both myself and the channel. If you're not already subscribed, McNally Money, feel free to do so. And let me know in the comment section below what you think of this analysis, if you're currently holding HUD8 and how you think the miners stack up as an investment compared to Bitcoin itself. Now without further ado, let's get into today's video. Okay guys, so that's right. Today's video, we're going to be providing an update on my favorite way to play the Bitcoin craze right now, HUD8 Mining Corp. This is a Canadian mining company located here in Alberta. They do have some expansion plans that we're going to talk about later in today's video. And I think honestly, this is one of the best ways you can gain exposure, not only to Bitcoin, but future upside growth in this space moving forward. And we're going to talk about some of those diversified revenue streams that HUD8 has in their business portfolio in a couple of slides here. So before we get into it today, I wanted to provide a quick update on HUD8 Mining's chart. Now, for those of you who are unfamiliar with this company, trades under the ticker symbol HUT on the Toronto Stock Exchange and also under the same ticker in the US on the NASDAQ Exchange. You can see here as of October 22nd, so last week, end of day Friday, they were down about 4.5% on the day, 64 cents Canadian to close out just under 14 bucks. Now HUD8 was on a massive run last week. They were actually hitting intraday highs above $16. You can see the biggest close of the week here was actually on October 20th at 1521. This is a company that I'm personally invested in. I was able to get the majority of my shares under $7 at $6.85. It's been a phenomenal stock for me. And you can see over the last couple of months here, you guys, in tandem with the rally we've seen in Bitcoin itself, the share price of HUD8 has absolutely been on a turbocharged run here. So for perspective, if you look back to the middle of July, this company was trading under $5 a share. And because of this super strong performance, I can no longer call HUD8 Mining a penny stock, but this was definitely one of my top picks throughout the summer months here and moving into the fall. Now in terms of market cap on HUD8, you can see they're sitting just north of $2 billion Canadian, so $2.26 billion. We're going to talk about why that number is so impressive to me in a couple of slides here later in the presentation, but keep that in mind here, you guys, $2.3 billion Canadian. And obviously with Bitcoin flirting with all-time highs, right around $80,000 Canadian, that's got a massive impact on the price of HUD8 shares. In addition to that though, and why I like this investment over purchasing Bitcoin itself is because you're getting that growth and this company is continually expanding their mining portfolio as well as earning interest on their self-mined Bitcoin. And that's exactly what we're going to talk about later in today's presentation. So for those of you who are unfamiliar with HUD8, in the same industry as some of the other miners like Riot or Hive, this is a Canadian-based mining company. They're super unique for a couple of reasons. This was the first miner to be publicly listed in Canada. They're also number one in the world in terms of their holdings of self-mined Bitcoin. So HUD8, unlike some of these other miners, actually focuses exclusively on Bitcoin. They do have some Ethereum mining as well, but they actually immediately convert that Ethereum to Bitcoin and they hold all of that in reserve. So they've got a HODL strategy, hold on for dear life, and they now have just about 5,000 Bitcoin that have been self-mined in their possession. So this is their website here. You can see HUD8 blazing the trail for digital asset mining. HUD8 is leading the digital finance revolution with some of those first and number one positions that we just talked about and advancing decentralized systems with high performance computing power. And we're gonna talk about how they're expanding that portfolio of computing power in one of the articles in today's video. Now, if you scroll down on their landing page, you can see here, always ahead of the curve, 
We are one of North America's largest and most innovative digital asset miners and have the computing power to match. Maximizing profit and performance enables us to stay on top of the digital asset industry. So a couple of highlights here, as mentioned, number one holder of self-mined Bitcoin in North America, and I think potentially globally at this point in time. They're the first data mining company listed on the TSX here in Canada, and they've actually been in the mining industry for over four years now, which has allowed them to navigate both bull and bear cycles in cryptocurrency. Now there's three articles that I wanted to talk about in today's video. If you haven't watched my other videos on HUD8 mining, I would highly encourage you to go take a look. I've actually done a video on Hive as well if you want to kind of compare and contrast the two. For full disclosure, I do not hold any other mining companies, only HUD8. I do not have shares in Hive. I believe HUD8 stands a cut above the rest and I really like their focused approach both on Bitcoin and geographically as all of their operations are located here in Canada, which is a very safe and stable place in my opinion to conduct business not to mention the access to cheap energy and power, which HUD-8 is really using to their advantage. So we're going to work through these articles in chronological order from oldest to newest. This one came out at the start of October. It's talking about September's production update. So one thing I really like as an investor in this company is each and every month they provide an update on their previous month's activity. And you can see here for September 2021, they mined a total of 264 Bitcoin, which resulted in an average Bitcoin per day of 9.11. Now, obviously the price of Bitcoin has fluctuated throughout the month, but if we were to take that high of $80,000 multiplied out by 9.11, you're looking at just about three quarters of a million dollars. Now, in terms of my price prediction or bullish thesis on Bitcoin, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I have no idea what Bitcoin is going to be at in the next 3, 6, 9, 12 months. But I do believe long term, you guys, in decentralized currency, you're seeing the effects of inflation right now. I think over the long run here, 5, 10, 15 years, there's nowhere for the price of Bitcoin to go but up. And that's why I'm so excited about these investments that are allowing you to get in at the ground level, especially in companies that are looking to hold on to the Bitcoin that they're actually mining because that reserve is going to be exponentially more valuable as the years continue to go on. And that's exactly what the second bullet point here talks about. So 100% of the self-mined Bitcoin for the month of September were deposited into custody, which again is consistent with HUD8's strategy of hold on for dear life. They have very low operating expenses, you guys, very low overhead. So they're actually able to deposit and hold on to virtually everything that they produce at these sites. And based on that activity, or those additions made in September, they're now sitting on 4,724 Bitcoin as of September 30th. So just under the 5,000 Bitcoin mark. And again, if you multiply that out, 4,724 or 4,724 times $80,000 per Bitcoin, you're looking at a total reserve of $378 million. So again, if you think back to the market cap here of 2.3 or $2.26 billion on HUD-8, about 16% of their market cap based on the current value of Bitcoin is sitting in this reserve. Not to mention the fact that they're producing about 9.11 Bitcoin per day. So on an annualized basis, again, assuming no growth, you guys, and assuming they're not expanding their production, which is not the case, you'd be looking at an additional 3,325 Bitcoin per year in terms of their annualized run rate. So again, that's about $266 million in terms of annual revenue or production based on today's rates that we saw in September of $80,000 Bitcoin and 9.11 production or Bitcoin being mined each and every day. Now, as if those numbers aren't exciting enough, again, keep in mind, you guys, this is virtually pure profit. They're essentially printing a form of money at these locations. In addition to that, they're aggressively expanding their actual mining capacity and production. And that's what you can see in this operational update from September here. So you can see they've now received and installed 600 servers consisting of 2400 NVIDIA crypto mining processors or CMPs and graphics processing units, so GPUs, which are now pumping out 7.1 Ethereum a day again, which is immediately being converted to Bitcoin. So that's about half a Bitcoin per day or $25,000 per day. That's obviously based on lower Bitcoin rates of about $50,000 Canadian. So based on that progression over the last 30 days, 
25% of their total NVIDIA fleet is now deployed, operational, and earning them income. You can see Jamie Leverton here, the CEO of HUD8 Mining, gives her thoughts. So we're thrilled with the current amount of Bitcoin held in reserve, as well as being ahead of schedule on our commitment to the market to have over 5,000 self-mined Bitcoin by the end of Q4 of this year. So super strong performance in the month of September. They're adding to their fleet of servers or mining capacity, and they're on pace to surpass that huge milestone of 5,000 self-mined Bitcoin within their possession by the end of this fiscal year. So the next article I want to talk about actually came out on October 21st, so last week as well. Now we're getting into the big leagues here, you guys. So HUD8 Mining announces the purchase of 12,000 new micro BT miners for delivery starting in January of 2022. So this was a massive purchase order for this company. It represents just about $59 million US in terms of the total purchase contract. This is an assortment of micro BT, M30S, M30S Plus, and M30S Plus Plus miners from Inchigal Technology with an approximate cost of $50 per terahash. So terahash is essentially horsepower or mining potential in the crypto mining world with aggregate incremental production of 1.17 exahash per second. Now we're going to take a look at what exahash means in the next slide here, but this is massive mining potential here, you guys, huge numbers we're talking about. And in terms of the actual deployment, they're expected to get about a thousand machines per month for the full duration of 2022. So starting in January, ending in December, a thousand machines per month with full deployment. So when I saw this article come out, I was super excited. They're now putting their foot on the gas in a massive way here, you guys. And HUD8 Mining is going all in, full steam ahead, to become really one of the most powerful mining companies for sure here in Canada, North America, but potentially worldwide if they continue this type of expansion moving forward. Now we mentioned a couple of terms on the last slide, hash rate and exahash. So I did want to just define those two terms for those of you maybe who aren't super familiar with cryptocurrency mining. So hash rate, again, think of this as horsepower. It's the speed at which cryptocurrency miners operate. So specifically, it's the speed of the computing devices used by the miners to develop the unit of cryptocurrency. So you can imagine the more units or computers you have connected to your infrastructure, the faster or better your overall hash rate will be. And exahash is essentially a way of measuring that hash rate. So one exahash is one quintillion hashes per second. You can see the number down here, you guys, we're talking about mind boggling numbers. Another common one you're gonna hear is terahash per second. That represents one trillion hashes per second. So obviously huge numbers. You can't plug these in your iPhone, you guys, but just keep in mind, hash rate is essentially the horsepower. Exahash or terahash is a way of measuring the speed or performance of these operations. Now the final article I wanted to talk about, this actually came out on the weekend, so kind of a unique update here, Saturday, October 23rd, and HUD8 Mining actually announces a third site. So this is super exciting as well. Again, up until now, they've been based solely in the province of Alberta. You can see this is gonna be a joint venture or partnership in conjunction with Validus Power Corp. And what's super unique about this is the new site, their third location here, so they've got two in Alberta, this one's actually gonna be located in North Bay, Ontario. So this is gonna be a 35 megawatt capacity site. It's expected to be online by the end of this year, which again is very exciting as an investor in this company. And it's actually gonna be powered through a blend of steam, hydrogen, and natural gas. So again, taking advantage of Canada's very favorable energy environment, whether it's out west or out east. And what's interesting here is earlier in the year, they actually did announce a third site that would be located in Alberta, but due to interruptions from supply chain and obviously COVID or the pandemic situation, the timelines and challenges in Alberta were just too big to overcome for HUD-8. So they did make a strategic decision to change the location and now focus on Ontario. So this third site is gonna replace the formerly announced Alberta third site location. But again, very excited to see that number one, we're staying within Canada. You can see here, again, CEO Jamie Leverton talks about Canada's favorable climate to business operations. But secondly, you are getting some diversified exposure in terms of geographic location within Canada.
So three big articles or press releases in regards to HUD-8 since our last video. Now I wanted to finish things out here with a quick overview of the company so you can see the three sites, two in Alberta, Medicine Hat and Drumheller. They still have the third site listed as Alberta in their investor presentation, but as we just discussed, that's going to be in North Bay, Ontario. A couple of high-level bullet points about the company. So again, they've successfully navigated both that bull and bear market cycle in Bitcoin. Largest holding of self-mined Bitcoin of any publicly traded company. Overall, between their various sites, 109 megawatts of production capacity. And that diversified revenue stream, which we talked about in the intro. So you can see HUD-8 is actually creating value or revenue in a couple of different ways for investors. So number one is obviously their mining activity. They also do white label hosting for various other mining companies. And the third way they're actually creating value or driving revenue is by loaning out the Bitcoin that they hold in reserve and earning interest or yield on those loans. So very similar to a bank with traditional fiat currency. And that's exactly why you guys, I prefer to hold a company like HUD-8 or a stock related to mining Bitcoin rather than the actual cryptocurrency itself because you're getting exposure to essentially three Bitcoin based businesses in one trade or one holding. So it diversifies your risk, it opens up potential for bigger gains, and unlike Bitcoin, which really relies solely on the price of the cryptocurrency asset, there are various ways to earn income in HUD-8 if the price of Bitcoin is stagnant or even declines. So second last slide here, you guys, this one talks about the impact of these additional computing units on the overall mining potential at HUD-8. So you can see in Q3, they're targeting about 12 to 14 Bitcoin per day. We saw in the month of September, they landed at 9.11, so a little bit under that target threshold. What's super exciting for me is Q4. So once they continue to add on that additional computing capacity, increase their overall hash rate, they're looking to target 16 to 18 Bitcoin per day. Now keep in mind, that's overall production, so that already has the Ethereum mining being converted to Bitcoin. And if you take the midpoint there of 17 Bitcoin per day, you multiply it out by 365, you get an annual production rate of just over 6,200 Bitcoin. Now keep in mind, they just made that massive purchase order for all those new units in 2022, plus the opening of that third site. But regardless, even with this production capacity, you guys, 6,200 Bitcoin times $80,000 is $496 million of production each and every year. In addition to that, they'll have 5,000 Bitcoin in their possession to start next year. And again, when you think back to that market cap of 2.26 or 2.3 billion, these are why the numbers make so much sense for me. And this is why I'm so excited about HUD-8 mining compared to holding actual Bitcoin, other ETFs, or even some of the other miners in this space. And to finish things off today, I wanted to throw this slide in. I think this is really an interesting slide and really a good visualization of the snowball effect that we're starting to see at HUD-8. Now, it doesn't really matter where we start on this visual because it is really a circular effect. But what HUD-8 Mining is focused on doing and the leadership team has committed to doing is growing and optimizing their fleet of miners, which we just saw and talked about in this video. Those miners are used to then mine both Bitcoin and Ethereum, again, which is converted to Bitcoin immediately. That self-mined cryptocurrency is then put into reserve and they actually loan that out or generate fiat yield or traditional money on those loaned out assets. In addition to that, they're also earning revenue or fiat income from white label hosting of services to other mining companies. And then they're taking the revenue from those activities to expand their power capacity and in turn, again, grow and optimize their fleet of mining units. So it really is a never ending cycle here, you guys, for HUD-8, generate money, expand production, generate more money, expand more production. All the while holding on to the Bitcoin that they're mining in reserve as the price of Bitcoin continues to go up and up for years into the future. So for me, this one is definitely a long-term hold. I have no plans on selling HUD-8 for the foreseeable future. I am looking to add to this position as we see dips in the price of Bitcoin itself. You will see HUD-8 sometimes will move a little bit more dramatically than the price of Bitcoin on a percentage basis. And I'm looking to take advantage and buy those dips. So that's it for today's video, you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. Hopefully this provided a good update on some of the recent developments at HUD-8 Mining. 
feel free to leave a comment in the section below. Let me know if you're holding this company or any of the other miners in this space. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, McNally Money, feel free to do so and make sure you hit the like button on your way out. Thanks again, you guys, and have a great rest of your day.